This is a meditation to tap into our sense of humanity. What does it mean to be human? What does it mean to feel so deeply in our physical being? To have gut reactions, to have these core intrinsic instincts. How do we listen to this beautiful vehicle? How do we listen to our bodies? Let's take some time today to just listen to our bodies, tap into the now, and discover what it is that we can do to become the highest version of ourselves. Being human is far from perfect, but it's perfectly imperfect. There is something about this sense of humanity that connects us all. That's what makes things relatable. We have a physical being, and we relate to others in their physical being, their physical vessel in which they inhabit and live in this world. So through our senses, sight, smell, touch, taste, sound, we can really dive into the physical world around us and engage. It's an opportunity to awaken, to ignite all of these senses, to take in information through our body, through our orifices, or even through our skin, the very largest organ in our whole being, and allowing ourselves to receive, receive and take in information. That input goes through us, and then we decide how we process it. It goes through our mind, it goes through our body, our receptors. Do we consciously or unconsciously toss it back to the world? How are we programming ourselves? Or is someone programming us? Are we allowing ourselves to be programmed? Or are we taking ownership of our physical body, our mental, emotional, spiritual state, taking ownership by recognizing that we have a say. We have a say in terms of what type of input we take in. How do we ingest information? In the age of information, there is so much out there. It can be overwhelming at times. And at times it can almost be numbing because there is so much stimuli that we can't fathom processing another bit or bite of information. So this is a time to really decompress, to unravel, unwind, and examine our programming. We can't make changes in our programming unless we first look at it with a sense of curiosity and open observation. So if we can be a little more objective we can have far greater outreach and results. And it is so personal, but it's not. We all are uniquely ourselves. There is no one like anyone else on the planet, but we all have so much in common. Our sense of humanity ties us together. So coming into our bodies now, let's take a moment to start connecting with our breath. Paying attention to the inhale rushing through the nose. Slow, long, and deep. And open mouth exhale. (sighs) Maybe make some sound and let it out. Inhaling again. Slow, long, and deep. Allowing our lungs to fill. Our belly, ribs, backspace to widen and expand. Inflating. And naturally softening as we exhale, releasing our chest, bringing our ribs closer together, and the belly button comes toward the spine ever so gently, wringing out that last bit of air. Naturally, following the next inclination to inhale, filling up from the base all the way up to the top, widening in the clavicle, just the base of our throat, Feeling that entire space of our torso filling with air three-dimensionally and softening, releasing, evenly letting go as we exhale. Sensing your body on the ground beneath you. If you're sitting on a chair, pay special attention to your feet and how they make contact with the floor. Notice the spreading of your flesh 
the bones there to support you with your head on top of your spine. Feel the carriage of your rib cage and its relationship to your pelvis. And it's almost like two bowls. One is downward and one is upward. The ribs are stacked directly above the pelvis. And the spine going through the midline, through the central channel. And on top of that, the very two top vertebra, the axis and the atlas, hold the cranium, the skull, the head resting gently, effortlessly on top. And as you breathe in, sense that you're taking in energy from the ground beneath you. Through your feet, use your imagination to envision a series of vines or roots from the very bottom of your feet all the way down through the floor, through down to the earth, penetrating the soil, going all the way down to the core of the earth where there is molten hot lava and that is malleable. It's fresh, it's molding. And right there at the very center of this molten hot lava, there is a diamond and your roots are anchored. Wrapping around it firmly for support, it is your anchor. And you can breathe in the energy from the core of the earth, inhaling. Feeling the energy rush up your legs, exhale, sensing where you are. Inhaling up through the feet, through the shins, up through the knees, the thighs, and hips. Exhale, feeling more grounded, more settled into your environment. Again, breathing up from the ground upward through the torso, the rib cage, and chest, down the arms to the elbows, wrists, and hands. Spiraling back up again through the shoulder blades, up toward the base of the neck. Breathing in this earth grounding energy. Exhaling more surrender, more heaviness as you notice the weight of your bones onto the ground beneath you. Your feet more relaxed, the toes spread heavy on the ground. Again, inhaling up the earth energy all the way up through the body, traveling from the legs through the back, all the way up to the throat, the head, and out the crown of the head. Feel the energy spouting out through the crown of your head like a fountain as you receive this beautiful grounding energy. The earth comes up to support you. Your physical body as a human being is made of matter, particles. We are dense. Our physical being is made of carbon. We're made of stardust. We're made of everything that ever was before us. This physical earth energy that we can see, touch, taste, feel. It's very tangible, visceral. Sense your entire body alive and breathing in this energy coming from the core of the earth, connecting you to your home planet. Relaxing as you exhale, softening your face. And now sensing the space above the crown of your head, sense the celestial energies of the skies above you. Now using your mind's eye, Visualize that you are breathing in from the crown of the head and the energy is going downward now towards the earth through the central channel of your body, between the space of your eyebrows, your nose, your throat, all the way down through your abdomen and out of the base of your spine, out of your hips, your pelvis, your feet. And out of your fingertips, you feel the celestial energy grounding you down. Coming from above and pouring down, down, 
down, anchoring you, anchoring you from your hips, your hands, your feet. You are securely rooted. Sense this energy wash over you and dissolve any sense of tension, frustration, anything we've built up over time and allow it to soften, letting go. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Now sensing the energy moving in two directions, from the feet going all the way up towards the torso and from the crown of the head rushing down towards the belly button. And these energies mix right in the center at the level of the heart, wrapping around the heart, spiraling around, engaging, energizing, connecting the upper and lower realms and spiraling, circulating throughout the body, breathing in, Breathing out this nourishing energy from the ground and from the sky, traveled by the air, surrounding your inner fire, right at the very center of your being. Feeling yourself supported by the elements around you, recognizing your oneness with the earth, the sky, the water, the fire, all of the elements, because you are made up of carbon, you are made up of particle, matter, stardust. We're all made of the same materials. Sensing the air rushing on our skin, in every creak and crevice of our body. Sense the internal environment humming, buzzing the molecules moving at an almost imperceptible level, but you are alive deep down to your core, down to the core of the earth and above you to the heavens. Feeling integrated, feeling the energies from the north and south wash over you, feeling the circumference of your breath, filling your belly, your back ribs, feeling three-dimensional, expanding beyond the three-dimensional. Observe yourself from the outside and witness yourself in relationship to your environment, to the world around you. Seeing other people, animals, plants, tasting the fresh foods of this earth, Smelling the aromas of the flowers, the herbs. Tasting the decadence. Listening to the lush sounds of the water crashing on the shore or the crisp snow under your feet. The crunch of the leaves. Sense the feeling of your own touch or the touch of the air around you. Maybe even the sensation of your clothing on your body. Taking this time to take it all in. Having gratitude for your experience, your ability to witness all of your senses in action and to embrace your sense of humanity. Thank you for joining me today for this meditation to return to your humanity. It's always available to you. And may you take the time to tap in, tune out of all those technological distractions, and listen. Just be. Thank you.